Hey guys, welcome back to yet another vlog. Hi, my name is CJS. I do makeup and lifestyle content here in this video. Oh, this hair, this hair, <laughs> this hair ring. Hi, um, today is Father's Day. I think it's 19th of June 2022. So today is Father's Day. I said, let me just pick up a camera and see what you're going to prepare the daddies for dinner. <laughs> I'm only celebrating one dad in my life right now, and that is the father of my kids, y'all. I don't post him much because he's actually mostly not inside the house. And I'm loving my new tripod. Can you even tell I have a tripod now? Anyway, you guys, on a serious note, please like my videos. Even if you don't want to subscribe, just give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's still fine. At least it shows that you're watching. And also let me know if you want, because I've noticed you guys don't watch my makeup content as much. So that means I don't have a big fan makeup, but you'd like, I'm getting a little bit of um, views on the lifestyle vlogs, but it is not as much as I would anticipate. You guys are 700 subscribed to my channel and I only get 25, 50 views. I rarely get 10 likes, so that is so hard to break it. I'm trying my best, so yeah. Uh, there are seven of you who always like my videos, and I thank you so much. If you know that you're one of the person who likes my videos, thank you very much. But please comment, engage with me in the comment section. Just say something. I know most of you watch from the TV, maybe, but even in the TV, there's a uh, um, an option of liking. You can like it with your remote. You don't necessarily have to use your phone. So yeah, let me show you guys today. The guys, the, the mans, requested, I think last week, that I make him biryani, because it's been a while. That's what I want to do today. I want to go in the kitchen and make some biryani. If you haven't watched my updated laundry routine, which I've just uploaded, please make sure you do. It has a lot of details that you need, all right? So, right now it's around 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I want to do the prepping, because I want to marinate the chicken. And then, yeah, that's... It's so I want to take it through the process of marinating the chicken. This is just my recipe for biryani, how I do my own biryani. I just, maybe it might help somebody out there. Somebody who wants to make it different. Yes, I'm loving it. So I have my chicken here. Please focus. Good. I have chicken here, so I want to marinate this. I'm going to use... So this is mixed spices. Right here, I have a lot of spices going on here. Uh, I also want to use some salt, alright, this is salt, salt, biryani masala, the major ingredient in this biryani is going to be mala, this is fermented milk, yes, because I don't have natural yogurt. I don't see the difference between mala and natural yogurt. I think like yogurt is just sweetened mala anyway. So that is one something we're gonna use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, some slices in the chicken. It's like a kg. Is it a kg? Nine pieces. Yeah, it's like a kg of chicken, or almost kg of chicken. So make some slices. And I'm going to add some salt in this, some mixed spice, then my biryani masala, just a spoonful of that, then some garlic powder. There is no rules to the spices that you put in your mala. The main spice is, uh, not in your mala, in your biryani. The main ingredient is actually this mala or uh, natural yogurt. Yeah, that's the main ingredient. You can put any spice of your choice. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be the exact ones that I've used. Just make sure you have mala or you have, you know, that yogurt, a natural yogurt. I don't feel like touching the chicken with my hands. So. As a fork is just fine because it's a dunga dunga. And then the spice will get going. 
perfectly the way I would want it to. And then to the side. That's that. And this goes into the fridge for a couple of hours. So, two hours later, I am going to... These are my to chicken, yes? So, I'm going to put that in the oven for a few hours as I prepare the other ingredients and also cook the rice and all that. So, yeah. My ingredients, my onions. So, these onions are for... The, okay, another ingredient that is very important for biryani is onions. So I'm having onions here. I have already uh, chopped my, oh, what is this called? Peeled my potatoes. Where are they turning? Peeled my potatoes. So I want to deep fry the onions. Then I'll blend this ones. And then these onions are meant for kachumbari and um, for the biryani. I love having my biryani with kachumbari basically because I'm going to... To have a uh, baked chicken, contrary to what other people do. <laughs> so let's cut these onions. Oh. I'm checking to see if my oil is hot. Let me just use like a toothpick because. Yes, it's hot enough for me to deep fry the onions. Let me just reduce the heat a little bit. Ingredients we are going to blend. So my onions are ready. Time for us to remove them. This is how you fry the onions. Don't burn them. Actually, for the first time today, I've not burnt them. And I'm very careful using this spoon because it's not meant for this for years. So I'm being very careful that I don't scratch them because I don't have a wooden spatula that will pick up these things. The onions, ah, not the onions, the carrot, the, these things, the potatoes only have food color and salt in them. I'm going to deep fry them in the same oil. Okay. I've made the kachumbari and the guacamole, guacamoles if you like it. 
It has avocado, onion, tomatoes, and dania. And the onions are soaked in salt for some time. Yeah, or you can add vinegar to reduce that bitterness. I don't think, I can't add black pepper or pili pili because of the kids, but that's precisely it. The potatoes, they're almost done. I'm about to, do, to remove them here. You can bake them if you want, but I had missed uh, fried potatoes, so I thought it was to just fry them. So I think they're ready. Uh, I'm going to remove them. Yeah, they're ready, so I'll remove them. And then now I start uh, making the, um, the stew, and then also start cooking the rice. Also, our chicken is almost ready. I just want to add some barbecue sauce, and then that's it. So I'm just roasting, uh, I'm roasting, cooking onions for the stew because I'm using a lot of onions because what I want is flavor. So most people don't do this step, but I like doing it. So this is how I'm going to cook my stew, my mala stew, which is now the biryani stew. So once this is ready, I'm going to add my blended tomatoes and bell peppers and garlic, which is right here. And then in the meantime, I'm going to soak my rice as the rice water boils. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I've added some salt in that. Just a little bit of salt because I remember the marinade has salt, yeah. And then here yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of biryani masala again. And that's pretty much it for the spices. So. Then I'm going to let this cook down. And what I'm going to do is that when it's cooking down, I'm going to add, remember the marinade you used? Eh? This marinade, it has chicken broth in it. Because when I was baking, when you bake your chicken, the first um, water that comes out, I drained it and I put it here so that it can act as my soup. So there it is. At this point, I think my chicken is ready. I need to add barbecue sauce to it. Yes. So this is mala, the one that we used to marinate the chicken with. Then I'm going to use the remaining mala that I have in the packet. So I'm using this is the remaining mala that we had, so I'm going to pour all of it here because my intention is to make as enough soup as I can, enough stew as possible so that the food doesn't become so dry. Then I'm going to let this cook down and simmer down until the oil separates itself from the from the from the mala. So I'm going to cover that. Our chicken is now ready. I want to brush it with some what do you call it? Um, barbecue sauce. I really love the taste of barbecue sauce in my chicken. So. That is how different I cook my biryani, by the way. I don't cook the chicken in the stew because I just love to eat my chicken. Okay, now, oof, that's too much. I love to eat my chicken, just the flavor of the chicken, and I like it crusty. I hate chicken that is cooked up. That's why I really don't like Kennedy chicken. Try this recipe, by the way. It's really... It's really sweet because the biryani is the sauce, not really the chicken. So that's what it is. I'm using this barbecue sauce, American gourmet barbecue sauce. I bought this from Missy Lee, it was around 200 and something when I was doing. Can we buy this from Missy Lee? 
when we are doing our bank shopping so then i'll return this in the oven for like maybe two three minutes and then they will be ready to be served Oof, they're stuck because i didn't put oil let me tell you something me i will save the home i hate doing dishes so any chance i get to use as minimal utensils as i can that's me so right now i wouldn't mix this in a plate if i can do it here why mix it in a plate so my stew has simmered down simmered down well enough so this is the point where i add a little bit of these potatoes if you want you can add eggs but i don't want to boil eggs I think that is enough so i add a few of these potatoes or maybe all of them because i don't have a lot so just those ones and i put switch off the heat because now i just want the I don't want the potatoes to cook. So like that. And then I go ahead and I add my onions. And that's practically it. And then now I stir this around. And yeah. We are good to go. Like the onions are like from what is it called? To garnish it. And yeah, you can see this still is thick enough. So I'm going to show you. So this is how it looks like. That is my biryani stew with my chicken. Now let me just wait for the rice to get ready. Plate it up and then I show you guys how it has turned out. But it looks amazing. Let me test for salt. It's good. I rarely test my food for salt or anything like that. I always just trust my instincts. So for the rice, it's almost ready. Because this is food color and water. I'm just going to put a little bit because I don't want it to be too much. Just a little bit. Just to make the rice look a bit colored. Yeah. That's pretty much enough. The rice is almost ready. Uh, as you can see, it's turning out one by moja moja, one by one. Like animals going to the ark. And that's that for the rice. Let's just put color in water. And yeah, this rice, if you want to know the rice that I use, check out my la it's a there's a video I did when I got it from Jimmy. I use seal Pishori rice, C I L Pishori light rice for a long time. It has been my favorite rice. <coughs> so our rice is ready. Yes. I have a video where I review these pots just in case you're interested. They're really nice pots. They don't break. They're not like um, ceramic pots or anything like that. Not ceramic. Is it ceramic? I don't know. So let me dish out and show you how it looks. So this is our final product. You have the stew here, the chicken, the roasted potatoes, and the kachumbari. I have a big plate, but I don't know why I didn't think of placing it in a bigger plate. But that's basically how it is. Thank you so much for watching. Try out this recipe. It's so amazing. You don't have to do exactly how biryani is made. You can always think outside the box. But I love it like this. Especially if you don't like soft chicken. This is the best. Uh, how can I call this? This is... Um, barbecue chicken biryani so yeah this is how it is and i love love it and it tastes amazing so thank you guys so much for watching i'll check you out in the next video i hope you have enjoyed this video uh please subscribe if you haven't give this video a thumbs up uh subscribe if you haven't and yeah see you guys in the next video bye happy father's day